You ready? Are you are you yeah. ready? All right, welcome back to Boys on Tap here. Oh, we got a little fucking Sunday <laughs> on, episode. It's on going. tap with the boys. Oh, it is? We dropped the boys. It's just on tap. Fuck. On tap. On tap welcome podcast. back to the on tap podcast, I guess. Fuck. But you got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're here. Little little Sunday episode, little boys episode. Me and Cody, we got a special guest on today. Grubbin Gaines. What's going Grubbin on? My boy Gaines. Dawson. Yes, sir. We really wanted to get you on here, really, because we want to know how can how can a regular idiot blue collar guy just get absolutely fucking jacked hold on can you actually give me one i just before i gotta get comfortable steroids steroids. oh oh, oh. (laughs) i just gotta get i gotta get fucking warmed up damn it i forgot mine oh dude we talked about this here i am here i am wearing fucking carhartt comfortable Comfortable now baby because i thought that was blue collar happy hour and i was talking about steroids oh yeah Uh. I didn't even know you were tatted up. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking yatted to the max, baby. He just covers it up. Yeah, very well. He doesn't want very guys well. to know what gang he's affiliated with. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> I forgot Sorry that we had that talked about this, but Mitch was saying that we should show up in cut-off sweatshirts, and then we take off the sweatshirt, and it's a cut-off shirt under the cut-off sweatshirt. <laughs> just do, like, flannels. Cut-off flannels. <laughs> yeah, right. Just keep pulling off every layer of cut-off something. So, Mitch was telling me that when you were younger, you were kind of a bigger dude. I was a heavy hitter, yeah, for sure. What did you weigh as a kid? Uh, like, what do you think your peak peak weight high school was? weight was? Like three bills. Damn, three hundred pounds. And now you're jacked. You're yoked. Yeah. maybe not to you, because I know, like, I understand how bitch, it goes. But, uh, like, no, I, uh, yeah, I was, I was three bills in high school. I ate like, I mean, I drive by the quick trip every day on the way to school. I had like this, this routine, you know, get the Glazers. This is before the Glazers are big. This was yeah. like pre big Glazers day. Yeah, this this is, is when they just came about. When it was only for the hipsters. You're, quick you're an OG. You're, yeah, you're a Glazer 100%, OG. A hundred percent. And I'd stop and get my dozen dozen Glazers because I'm like, it's a better deal to get. It's like a dozen for cheaper than just a pack of six of them. So I get them. I'm talking second second class. All dozen would be gone. Oh, seriously? Yeah, I would, you, I'd you'd go, smash a dozen donuts a day. Easily, I could still do it. It's it's <laughs> terrible. And then, <laughs> then during lunch, I'd get like two lunches after school. I'd stop at like McDonald's, just rack it up, and then I would go push carts at Home Depot, and I just tear shit up. Damn! So you're spending damn near your whole check on just snacks, just food, that, and then yeah, liquor on the weekends. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. wild. Yeah. So, <laughs> when did you decide you're like, hey, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kick this thing into gear? Like, I gotta. I got to oil this machine a little bit. Um, About when I was like 18 or 19. Yeah, that's kind of when I, I took like a change and I had my first heartbreak. I was a sad little bitch. I was like, oh, I'm going to get in there. And I'm going to be like this crazy, you know, I'm I'm going to get back. And probably about six months into it, I fell in love with it. And I was like, holy shit. And that's when I started doing it for myself. And then that's kind of when I just I just fell in love with the, the process. And people started noticing the, the little changes and little transformations. And they would say stuff. And, you know, it feels good to hear like, you're looking really good, you know, and things like that. And. Um, so yeah, I was about 18, so that's quite a few years ago. Damn, that's actually wild. how old are you now? 26. Okay, holy fuck. damn, so you've been hitting her hard for a while. Yeah, I mean, I've had setbacks like uh, I, I tore my hamstring, um, I had a couple bad discs in my lower back, so I mean, from lifting, from lifting, you tore your hamstring while you were, yeah, lifting. Yeah. Is it like one of those crazy videos you see people like leg pressing in there? No, it was the stupidest like thing. This is 100% being vulnerable. I was doing a good morning, which is basically like set, you're setting up for a squat with a barbell on your back and you're just hinging at your hips for, for hamstrings. 135 pounds, like a 45 and a 45. And I got down to a 90 and it, it just snapped and like, oh, but the fr- it, that was on a Monday. And the Friday before that, I was deadlifting and I felt it kind of cramp up and I was like, ah, whatever. So I foam rolled it, forgot about it, gave it the weekend, Monday. And I was in, I was in the, the shop or whatever at my home gym. 135 in a good morning, my hamstring just, it popped and I felt it just let go and I just collapsed and I was, I, it didn't even hurt. I was more pissed because I knew the setback and then I had to stop training legs for about six months. But so I've Damn. had, I've had, I've had setbacks throughout the, the years in that. And, um, and, and yeah, so I mean, that's, it's, it's been a long time, but there's been ups, there's been downs, but that's all part of it. That's actually wild. So have you reached a point where you're like, I'm not growing anymore. Like I need, I need some help. Oh, so um, <laughs> I don't. Such I, a set up question. This yeah. is this so, is my way of on, asking. Are you on trend? Have you ever have you ever done any substances that will make it easier? I brought these, oh, by the God. way. Good God. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment before this. This counts. So we're gonna we're gonna feed these out here. 
<laughs> I like this. This is actually the this secret is so, right here. This is actually so funny because every guy I know that's like big into the gym is fucking ridiculously into energy drinks. Oh yeah. Well, why is that? Oh, like, what's the connection? Okay, because right here, just ten calories. There's no sugar. There's nothing to okay. it, and it's sweet. It's like a sweet little treat. So then, and then they're coming out with these wild ass flavors like rainbow sherbet, white gummy bear, like, <laughs> yeah. and so it's like. You're eating chicken and rice every day or beef and rice every day and rice cakes and you're like, fuck. Like you, you have one of these things and it's just a delicacy. Especially mm-hmm. in the morning. You don't like, think that it's because you're a dirty pre workout addict? <laughs> you need I, a little bit I of a rush have, all the time. I, Is that you don't think that you're just like yeah. helping the fix a little bit? You think it's because no. it tastes good? Come on oh, now. Okay. I terrible ca- <laughs> I mean there for a while I was at a gram a day of caffeine. I was like, I gotta wheel it back. I gotta wheel it because like so yeah, that is that is a gram. Is that a thousand milligrams? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit! Because <laughs> like, rain, rains are what three hundred. You have a few of those, and then you have your pre workout next to you. Know you're like a few of those. Yeah. I have one. I can't sleep for three days. Yeah. yeah so that's oh. that's terrible. But every gym rat has a caffeine addiction. It's it's fucking terrible. Um, but to to jump back into the the nitty gritty of of the questions, um, I I've always had my blood work done since I was eighteen, and my like I've, something I've always noticed is my testosterone and estrogen have been low. And usually when you're at that 18 to like early 20s, that's kind of when you're going through the transition of the hormones. So like you'll, you'll notice your testosterone should go up. Mine never did. And all the way up until I was about 23, 24, it stayed the same. My estrogen was crashed. My test was terrible. I mean, it was like low 300s. Do you know why that is? I have no idea. Because what's a normal test level, like 800? Well, I mean... There's people going to be in the comments. I can see now like, that's not right. That's not right. But I mean, if so like my buddy, one of my buddies got his done and it, it came back at like 600, mid 600s and everything f- feels fine for me. feels good. Everything works properly. Um, that's fine. That's normal. But like if I'm coming back low 300s and I'm an 18, 19 year old when I should be wanting to like just smash everything and I want to eat everything and my metabolism <laughs> should be going, right. I should get in the gym and I should feel recovered and not dead all the time. My yeah. sleep shouldn't be bothered. Like that's a fucking problem. That's like that of a 60 year old man's even older, maybe. So, um, it never changed. I kept going to my primary doctor and I was like, Hey, like, can we, can we do something here? And she's like, well, you know, like kind of brushing it under the rug for a while. And then it got to the point, even I'm like, Hey, some things aren't working that should be working. And she's like, well, maybe you're in your head about it. And, um, and I'm like, I'm definitely not in my head about it. Cause I'm, <laughs> I'm dating this person. So, so I think, oh, I, I see what you're yeah, saying. So yeah. So I'm like, I, I, yeah. I, I think, I think it's, sh- those things should be working. Uh, <laughs> so, so, um, you know, that's when, that's when I, I did a little bit more research and I, um, <clears throat> I was kind of taking bodybuilding more serious. That's when I was like starting to weigh my food out and I was starting to, uh, take that extra step. It wasn't me just like throwing uh, a bunch of chicken and, and rice in a container and saying, good. Like I was weighing it out, making sure I had the specific amounts each day. Mm-hmm. And I started like kind of reaching my natural potential per se before, before it's like, all right, I'm kind of getting to that point where it's stalling out. Um, and then I, I found out about this company called transcend, not a shameless plug. I'm not with them. So I don't know <laughs> if, you, if you cut that or bleep that out. Um, and that's an HRT company. So a hormone replacement therapy, therapy company. And I got in contact with them. And the thing I loved about them is they made sure like, I went and got my blood work done, and it was head to toe. Thyroid function, kidney, liver, all the hormones. And this is like a third-party thing that you go get your blood work yep. done at? Okay. Yep, because they're, t- they're based, I think, out of Texas or Florida. Um, and so they, they took care of, like, all that. And then they're like, yeah. The dude's like, you're, you're definitely below what you should be by a long shot. And I was like, I, that's what I've been saying since I've been 18. And uh, But they, the doctors went... Do you ever figure out why? Like, what was like the underlying no. cause of it? No, I mean, it just. I mean, we, we could just dive even deeper into the into the aspect of like, uh, my buddy. My buddy has tremendous gyno and because and estrogen problems because his mother put him on an all soy diet when he was younger, and mm. she was she was a, a, a like on a soy only diet as well when she was breastfeeding. Like, you could go back and say those things, but for me, like, it just it just something never clicked. Something never like popped off or. or Increase. I think Cody was asking like why the why the doctor was like just brushing it off. Like, oh, did you ever that? figure out? Is that oh, what you're no, asking? No, no, no. I was really just asking like why do you think that it was low? You, uh, I oh. mean, you pretty much answered my question. Yeah, and That's I, my I bad. and I, I tried, I tried like everything. So like eating healthy, working out, doing cardio. Um, you know, I was I was trying all the supplements under the sun. I was buying these natural test boosters. I was doing everything I possibly could. I was like forking out money into these products and it's expensive. And it's mm-hmm. so fucking expensive. And just pre-workout and protein back then it wasn't like it is now, but even then, like when you're a young kid, that's fucking expensive. Yeah. Um, 
and so yeah like i i something I, I i loved about them is they kept up my blood work and he flat out told me he said you know you're really low and how often do you have to do blood work like while you're trying to get it up so so like so now i i do it whenever my my new coach tells me to do it so it's like uh pre-cycle i'll do it and then i'll do i'll do it during the cycle then after the cycle to make sure my health markers are back in check and things like that um but that kind of like got me into it then i hopped on a low dose of testosterone so trt testosterone replacement therapy um and I, i rode that out for a year just strictly low testosterone um, and the differences that I felt, the differences I was seeing, I was like veining out my pumps. I was full. Like, yeah, well, I was going to ask, what is that like? Like the, fr- the is oh, yeah. this like a pill form? Is this a liquid? No, form? I, like, how are you it, taking injection? It? Oh, no shit. Yeah. Like it's the real, it's the real deal. It's like when you see in the movies and you hear about people like taking steroids, yeah. like this is literally yeah, I, a needle in your vein. Yeah, yep. A full on, a full, not in the vein, but in the mu- intermuscular. So. Oh, okay. and, and like the, the glute or your shoulder and, th- and things like that. And so that's what I started off doing. I started off doing just a low dose. I did Monday and Fridays each week. Um, and the thing I always tell people with it is everyone responds differently. Everyone's body is different. Everyone handles a different side effects. And people are like, well, if I hop on, what's going to happen? And it's just a matter of like me. I've always had body acne issues. So when I did that, my body was like, what the fuck is going on? Because I gave <laughs> it the right adequate amount of hormones that it needed to do. And I still went and got my blood work and everything was perfect where it should have been, but I still had bad body acne because my body was not established to like that. Because when you're more testosterone, you get oily skin, things in that aspect. I had heard that. And like if if your estrogen goes really high, your body acne can flare up and things like that. And like that's when you get the weird sensitive like nipples, the gyno and things like that. But all my markers are good. It was just because my body was so accustomed to running at such like a low you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put it into perspective. You know, it was used to running on 87 octane instead of race fuel. Uh huh. Um, so then I gave it that race fuel so I can run at that, <laughs> yeah. that optimal performance. And it's like, I'm not ready, but like, I'm like, you're going to be ready. So did, so did you ever have to deal with like crazy mood swings? Uh, like I'd heard that was like a huge side effect. So that's the thing too. Like, uh, after I just did TRT for a while, obviously I wanted to dabble with the cycles. Like I wanted to run more cause it's always, you get a taste of it and you want more. That's what that's, <laughs> I want to get bigger. I want to get bigger. I want to get any, better. That's what like anything in life. You get that you get that little the, the little itch and you're like I want more. I want more whether it's like racing oh, as soon as it feels good and you're just like why don't I do this all the time? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. What, How can I get as, yeah. the most amount of dopamine out of this <laughs> yeah. as possible? Right what now? what else can I do? Um so yeah, I dabbled with like running my first cycle and that was um you know, that that was when my estrogen spiked and went high and then I realized like, oh, I aromatize. So like I convert it in, into estrogen. I convert it to estrogen more than the average person, but like I can take less and I respond a lot better than most people do. Cause I know people that take an astronomical amount of gear and they don't respond as well. I could take quarter of the month they do and I respond better. So, but with that, I have to kind of manage those hormones a lot more closely than the average person does. And so like, yeah. And if you think about it, um, you know, your hormones are going like this all the time. And so I was doing Monday and Friday for injections. And then to think about it, like it's, it's Monday, you, you pin, you pin testosterone. So you're up here, you're floating, you're flying high. Thursday's coming, you're tanking, tanking Friday, Damn. Boom, you're back. It's up. that quick. Yeah. And so obviously like when you first start, it takes like, you know, a month or two to kind of fully build up into your system. But then I was just like, okay, my body's not liking that. So then I went to a more frequent, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So then I'm like this, right? Damn. So then I also still didn't like that. And I had side effects. So now I do it daily. I do it every single day. Holy shit. So, but it's, if you think about it, it's a flat line. If you do it every single day, you don't have those. You stay the same. You stay the same. And that's when like it, that also helps keep that estrogen down. So you don't have those mood swings and side effects and things like that. It helps just regulate you as an individual as well. And to me, I would rather have things like this. So it, um, it's easier to, to track. So if like, I'm having a day where I'm like, God, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm a little I'm a bit more aggravated today. Well, how much sleep did I get last night? Oh, I slept for three hours. Okay. That's why. Yeah. Instead of being like, Oh, is it, is it because like this hormone it just takes have- another guess out of what's going 100%. on? You don't like, you never have to worry about that because you know, you're 100%. always getting it. A hundred percent. And with bodybuilding, that's huge. You need to, you need to, cause you're controlling every variable in your life because you're weighing everything to a gram, to a specific gram, to a specific ounce so it's one less thing to worry about. And that's like a very relieving thing. Um, so with that, that also helps the mood swings. But yeah, I have, I've, I've dabbled with um, a few compounds that are really aggressive that I, I like refuse to do. 
um, because of that reason. Cause I, I am a person that like, I like to kind of be in control of those emotions and in control of that as well. So like when it comes to like drinking or, or smoking weed and things like this, I do it in, in a moderate, a moderation aspect of as well now. Um, I suppose that helps kind of regulate everything too, because I'm sure everything that you that you put in your body will throw it off just a little yep. bit if it's not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. hundred percent. Now, when you're doing, when you first did these blood tests, like, do you have to go somewhere or you like, they send you a package that you like put your blood in this container and you ship it off? Is it like an ancestry DNA thing? Or like, what do you do? So when I was first doing it through my primary um, doctor, this, this is something I like, and I'll full, full hard to be open about it. This is something I find that is really corrupt in the medical field is I basically had a beg for a testosterone check and everything. Like, you're, you're young. Why do you need that? Like they question it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, well, are, are you me? Do you feel what I feel every day? Do you feel the things that I, I endure and I go through? No. So like I'm asking to check it. So why is it like me having to beg for this? Right. And that was something that stood out to me is like, I'm like, that's not cool. But with this, like an, if you go through an HRT T company or things like that, um, you know, they'll, they'll send over like what you need and they'll send it to like a quest, quest diagnostics or a lab corp or things like that. So then you go into there and then they already have all the information. So you just have to basically schedule an appointment. You go there, they, they take it and then they'll ship it off. And then your results will be on quest, like quest, um, uh, app or, or whatever. Damn. And then, then they'll contact and reach out to you. Like your, your person that's kind of in charge of like your blood work and all that, like a, a licensed physician. They have like a consultant yep. that's like mm-hmm. specifically licensed. for a certain amount of yep. people. Okay. Everyone's licensed. It's not some like dude down the street that's looking over your blood yeah. work panel. It's like everyone's like licensed and, and in charge of it. And like they have, um, they, they know what they're doing. So, um, you know that it was a super easy process, but obviously like I live closest is like an hour, hour and a half away to uh, quest. So I have to like usually make it like a Saturday morning or, you know, and you want to do it when it's, you're fasted. So I don't, it's tough to do it during the week before work and things like that. So, um, but it's, it's a super, it's a super simple process once you get it figured out. That's crazy. I've always been so interested in it. So yeah. I've actually just myself, I have a buddy of mine who's a personal trainer mm-hmm. and I just started like, uh, he took me on as a client because I helped him with Good some logo you. work, Good some graphic you. design work. Yeah. And, uh, so it's been like four weeks now and he's got me like weighing out my food. I told him like straight up Saturday, Sunday, I'm not going to follow this thing, but Monday through Friday, I'm going to hit it hard and, I, and yeah. I, I won't mess up anything. Right. And, um, it's been wild. It's like a whole, it's like a yeah. whole different lifestyle. It gives me a lot more respect for people that can do it all the time yep. because like it's a massive inconvenience when you got to like plan everything out figure out like oh shit i'm not gonna be by the house for the next day so i gotta like bring this these meals with me and figure out a way to like keep them you know cold and then heating them up like i brought mine like do you have a microwave you don't like i'm okay i'll eat eat it cold i'm not it's nothing new you know yeah dude it's wild to me like i said i've i've been really curious because i actually was considering getting a blood panel done on myself because i was like you know i've been hitting it hard and i haven't really yeah. Not that not that I would see much improvement in four weeks, obviously, but just I'm thinking yeah. in the back of my head, like, I feel like I'm not running on all cylinders here. Like, I feel yeah. like if I just had that little peace of mind, it would just um, maybe I'd have that placebo effect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, and, and that and that's the biggest thing, too, is like anyone can go to their, you know, care provider and ask to, to, to see it or whatever. Um, but their range is the, their range is from 200 to 900. But I'm like a firm believer of like if. If you want to, if you want to run at optimal performance, I I think anything under like, I'm gonna throw it out there and people are gonna be like, that's too low. I mean, I could say anything under 600 is is too low, but I mean, to be quite frank, I think 800 to 1200 is like optimal like performance, performance wise. Because like if you're running, if you're running like a low dose of test, you don't need to. Most of the time, it everyone's different because some people aromatize and convert to estrogen heavy, but most of the time you don't have to worry about your estrogen too much in that aspect. But I think, I think it is extremely important for every single person to get blood work done, to make sure their hormones are are checked because a lot of things could be solved with, with men nowadays with balancing those hormones out. Because if you're a man that has low estrogen and low testosterone, you're going to be like moodless. You're going to be a zombie. You're going to walk around and go uh, like, you're going to be like 
sore all the time. You're going to be tired all the time. It's going to like have a very negative impact. And the next thing you know, you think, well, maybe, maybe I'm depressed. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm this, maybe I'm that. When in all reality, you could get your hormones in check and you could get your hormones fixed and that could solve so many of those issues. Right. Rather than having to go on like antidepressants or anti-anxiety meds. That's the about today's society, dude, is antidepressants and fucking like anxiety meds is like everyone is on it's that. It's It's sickening. Everyone. It's That's sickening. one on thing that. I, I realized as an adult, I was alarmingly surprised at how many people I knew that were on antidepressants yep. or anti-anxiety medication Dude, and it's that I would have never like, guessed. I'm not saying there aren't people that do legitimately need that, but the fact that it's so easy now for a medical provider to just 100%. chalk it up to, oh, this is what you fucking need. Yeah. Because my, like, my parents are doctors. My dad was a pharmacist, you know, so he talked about shit like that with like drug addicts, right? Yeah. Drug addicts yeah. come in and they, they're seriously convinced that they need something. And most people, most pharmacists are just like, here, here yeah. fucking yeah. take it, you junkie. My dad yeah. was always like, dude, I'm not fucking giving you anything. You don't need it. 100%. I'm not giving it to you. Yeah, so my, my wife works at the hospital, you know, and uh, she was saying that a lot of people, when they'll, when they'll call, you know, uh, you can tell that some of these people have a real problem with prescription filling. Mm-hmm. And they'll be like, dude, you're, you're like 20 days early on your prescription fill. Like, I obviously can't. Yeah, yeah. You know, send this to dude, the pharmacy. And the fucking you know? old people are the worst, dude. The, like that sixty to eighty yeah. range, <laughs> yeah. dude. A, a lot of them are literally just glorified heroin addicts. I I get it Pain though because fucking I, animals. You that get is, to that you get so to an true. age and you're not doing anything. Like you're not moving around. You get sedentary, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you're like you're sore all the time. Like you said, yep. like you feel like. You know, you're almost at like a dull ache all the time. Mm-hmm. Some of that stuff you feel like is the only way to numb it because that's kind of yeah. all you can do. Yep. Yeah. You know, well, that's you get like put it, in this box. It just blows my mind that you've been alive for 80 years. You sit on the couch 16 hours a day and you wonder why you're sore. Yeah. And then you call the fucking doctor <laughs> and ask for medication for it. No yeah. shit, you're fucking sore. Yeah, 100%. Dude. Also, you're no just shit. like you're just like high out of your gourd for ninety yeah, percent exactly. of the time. You know, yeah. the just other ten percent you're sleeping. Dude. <laughs> no, it's it's and that is something too. Like a big turning point in my life, and I, I'm not accrediting. I am not accrediting this to to steroids to like <laughs> testosterone. I'm not doing that at all. Like obviously, I you have to want to change and and you have to to be that change. But a big turning point in my life. Um, was when I hopped on TRT when I got my hormones right. You know, mm-hmm. there was a, there was a time there was a time in my life my mother was very worried about me and I I was that zombie I was that like, you know, depressed out of it all these things and like I was I was eating chicken and rice was I weighing it all the time no but I got it got to the point to the end of we'll say my natty status for the <laughs> internet purposes the way of saying it um where I was weighing everything out I was taking my vitamins same time every single day taking you know all of everything completely like very serious and nothing was changing. Um, but then, yeah, I, I got my hormones, right. Um, then I ended up in just moving out of my mom's and buying my first home. Like I never had any renting experience. And was like, I'm just gonna go buy my house. I got a good credit, whatever. And then I started doing that. And then I landed a, a big boy job in the union and I started doing all of these things and everything just started clicking. And I just wanted more. I wanted more. I was just ambitious. I was hungry for more. And my gym progress was going fucking wild. And I mean, like, it helped obviously that I already had the variables of the diet lined out and I or laid out. And I think a lot of people like neglect that. They think, can I run a four? Like, like the other day, me, me and my girlfriend were at the gym and this kid walks up to me and goes, Hey, I have a couple, couple questions. And I get it a lot, you know? So, and I, I love to help cause I never had that when I first started. So I'm like, yeah, sure. And he was just like, what do you think if I ran like a four week cycle of D ball? And I look at him, I'm like, how old are you? And he's like 19. I'm like, Oh my God. He goes, I want to bench four Oh five before I graduate. I'm like, Oh my God. I'm like, do you have any plans for your future? Like, what are you doing for work? Like it's almost a slap in the face to me. Cause it's like, they come up and they just discredit like, okay, like I don't, I didn't Assume know th- there's no other work put into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, you just do that and you're good. But they're young. You know, you have TikTok and all these other fucking apps that, that, that do that. But mm-hmm. it's a, it's a matter of like, just trying to put it into a perspective for them where it's like, I, like I said earlier, I think like a lot of people need to get their blood work done, but in the same sense that a lot of people like don't check off all the boxes beforehand with when it comes to like dieting and when it comes to getting that in check and their sleep and their vitamins right. and they don't have the, the, the important ones checked off the non-negotiable 10,000 steps a day. People don't realize how hard it is to get 10,000 steps a day. You know, these non-negotiable things that need to be checked off before you look into that. 
is very is just as yeah. important. Yeah. Hey, I feel like shit, but also I'm eating a dozen glazers every day. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have like a thousand milligrams of caffeine and a dozen donuts. What's going on? Yeah. Why do I feel weird? Why does my head hurt? <laughs> it's crazy how that works. How the proof is always in the pudding. Yeah, every I can't fucking sleep. time. Yeah. It's never not. Yeah. yeah. That's all. That's just so wild to me. Um. Yeah. I mean, do you see like a practical application for someone in like their everyday life to supplement some of these kind of like testosterone therapy methods or is it only for someone who really wants to take like their performance their physical performance seriously that's a really good question i actually have uh, an older neighbor um he's a really good friend of mine and he's an older gentleman <clears throat> and he hunts fishes he's blue collar he doesn't he doesn't hit the gym that often and he's like, I'm sick of feeling like shit. And he, he messaged me one day. And he's like, hey, like, just letting you know, like, I'm, I'm hopping on. The doctor got me on TRT because my levels are low. And so I've been keeping up with him asking because of that. I've actually been curious about that. Like, if you're not pushing it. Yeah. I guess my thing was, like, if, if I'm not pushing it to, like, level 10 all the time, is that going to fuck me up? No. And, and, he, and he's like, <laughs> you know he's like I, mean? I feel amazing. Like, sex drive's coming back. Like, I feel more energy, more efficient. Like, so, so yeah, like, it is going to have positive benefits. But, like, and it is you're going to get what you, you're going to get out what you put in in that aspect. So for him he's not hitting the gym very hard, he's not doing all these crazy things, so he's not going to be like this big muscle man. But right. but in the same sense, he's going to feel better as a man. He's going to like have that that drive, he's going to sleep better, he's going to like have that energy, that sex drive is going to come back. He's going to make him feel young again. But in the in the terms of like muscle-wise, that's ultimately what you put in. Like if I were to, if I were to stop going to the gym and just keep taking testosterone, I mean it's I mean, I'll, I'll preserve what I have a little bit, but it's not going to, I'm not going to look like what I do now. I'm going to lose that, uh, the majority of it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's ultimately like what you put in is what you get out on it, you know? God damn. Yeah, you really got me inspired. I kind of want to get on the juice. <laughs> there you go. I'm just kidding. Start, start with trash. I was looking for any more excuse. sex drive, dude. He's the horniest guy alive already. <laughs> right. Yeah, I was looking. Uh, I was just looking for an excuse to use the word juice in today's conversation. Really. <laughs> the juice, the gear, yeah, the roids. Um, is, oh, the gear. Yeah, okay, that's gear. a good one. I haven't heard that one before yeah. until you said that earlier. Um, yeah. is there like, Is there like a negative connotation to this, like in the gym setting? Like, are there guys that are sort of like, I don't think gatekeeping is really the right way to word that, but maybe are just kind of dicks about people that aren't all natural. Like, are you saying people that are natural being like hating? Like stuck people? up about it? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. There's just, it's a, there's like this big well, thing. Obviously like, he's not natural. When, when That's an internet be, thing for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw the meme where it's like one dude's just going about his day and all of a sudden it's like, I'm natural. And he looks over and he goes, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and he's just like, like, he's in the gym, he's working out. He goes, I, yeah, but I'm natural. And he's like, oh, okay, like I get it. Like I think. Are I, natural dudes in the gym like the, the vegans of the world? It, oh, it's, it's like, yeah. you don't need to fucking ask them because they're going to tell you. Yeah, but, or, but there is also guys that, you know, are on the, the gear, if you will. Um, they're on the gear and, the roid, and, rage. Uh, and roid rage yep. and they're like super weird about it too, you know? So there's definitely all ends of the spectrum. I understand that. Like the rock. Uh, I don't, I don't give a fuck who you are. If you think the rock is natural, you're delusional because when you're 50, <laughs> when you're 56 years old, 60 years old and you look better than when you were 30, that's delusional. Or Mike O'Hearn, if you think he's yeah. natural, you're delusional. Liver King. Liver King. I mean, he, <laughs> that whole scandal. And he yeah. came out and then just tried to treat it as it was like a mental health bullshit. I'm like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but like, if, if you're on shit, just be honest. But if, and if you're not, like, don't, don't like sit there and like uphold this. Oh, well, I don't look, I don't look like you because I don't take steroids. No, you don't look like me right. because you don't weigh your food. out. You don't take the same vitamins at the same time every single day. You don't make sure that you get your 10,000 steps. You don't make sure that you're doing your pin, your pinning frequency. You don't make sure that you go and do body work once or twice a month. So you don't tear your shit. Yeah. You don't make sure you do progressive overload. You don't have a coach. Like I could sit there and go and go uh -huh. and go, but it's just like in the same, in the same aspect, I've been to gyms, these big body building gyms where it's like, like I'll be up. Like, are you using this equipment? Yeah, buddy. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, all right. Sounds good, pal. Sounds good, squirt. Like, I'm just like, dude. I'm just chilling. Like, I, you don't have to, you know. Or otherwise, I'll shoulder check you. I've had that happen to me. I'm like, dude. No like, shit. Oh, uh, damn. We go into a lot of different that's gyms. So I already know that. Well, yeah. I mean, you go to these big bodybuilding gyms, and it's like, who am I? Why am I? And that's that's where the big scan, like the big scheme of the the roid rage thing comes into play because I truly think it just enhances who you are. So if you're an angry motherfucker and you start juice pumping juice, I mean, if you hop on like a little TRT, it's not going to make the difference. But like if in the aspect of like, you want to be a bodybuilder and step on stage. So you start running all these other compounds and you start pushing, like pushing the envelope with that. 
that's going to enhance who you are as a person. So for me, I'm this big, soft, teddy bear, mushy, gushy guy. And yeah, there's been times where like my moods have been out of whack and things like that based on like trying to, trying to find in the last few years of me being on shit of like what my body responds to and how it is. Because like I said earlier, with gear, you just jump feet first. I could sit there and go on TikTok and I could be told by six people, six different things about the, the, the cons and the pros. I hop on and I'm like, none of these people said anything was this, this was going to happen to me, you know, because I'm just, I'm not, I'm not them. So it, it's just. Dude, you're just convincing me that we need to keep Cody off the juice, bro. He's well, always, you keep saying, he's so, he's you keep saying so gear and I keep picturing myself in the gym with like a uh, Vietnam style war helmet. <laughs> bulletproof vest on bulletproof the, on the vest. Stairmaster. Like. And I'm just, I'm pumping 405. <laughs> <laughs> he's already so horny and he's already so mean and if it gets any worse dude i i don't he's know a if little we're gonna survive. he's a little demon already he's a dick dude. Oh, i tried kissing no. mitch before we started this thing. <laughs> dude, i was wondering i was i saw normal. the casting couch out there and i was like got some greasy <laughs> shit going on around here <laughs> you leave that thrift store couch out there hey, that alone. thing was comfy i'm not shitting on it you think we just have lighting out there because we don't shoot videos yeah. on that fucking couch dude? I, I sat on it, i fell into it i'm like damn okay this thing's broken in <laughs> this thing's comfy yeah, this it's got OG. years of love yeah. on that it's an, thing it's an og here so is this uh these these monster sugar free uh oh. energy drinks these is your, this is your drink of choice this oh, is oh, your vice okay you so i have oh god i have he did it now i have so many yeah me and mitch will go back and forth on, on reviews mitch said you're like a little bit of an energy drink connoisseur i would like to say i would like to say but like you're gonna have the haters that are like oh no this one's better this one's better and then i've had people ask me top three top five that's i i can't even answer that because like they're they continuously keep See, dude, coming out with i more. feel like yeah. like unselfishly i think that me and you are basically the dave portnoy of energy drinks 100 percent. that's the only way that i can i mean <laughs> all transparency without 100%. without going too far i think that's exactly who we are 100%. one sip everyone knows the rules one sip everyone knows the rules well I, there's so many i could have brought i could have brought like the the rainbow sherbet rain i could have brought the white gummy bear rain i could have brought you know now uh nas is making a sugar-free one i Whew. i, I could have brought but i think it's a thing dude everyone loves just an og monster now they have the zero sugar mm. it's just it's a classic. It's you, a good thing this is an old studio because these are plaster walls. I'd be punching holes in these. Fucking <laughs> yeah, any, any Kyle in the, the local area is just going to be like busting through like, oh, yeah, like the Kool-Aid. Man. It's getting so bad now to the point where I go into the gas station and I look for an energy drink. I specifically look for something that I haven't tried oh. so I can send Austin a video of it. <laughs> Yo. And I'm I'm talking, I'll have to look for like five minutes sometimes to find something that I, I I've had every single one of them now. Dude, every single one. Quick trip. Dropping the oh, fucking fuck ball. Quick we, fuck Quick Trip. We've we've established this. Mitch actually. <laughs> it's Mitch, good that you like this dude because this podcast hates Quick Trip as well. Yeah, We're not Quick Trip guys dude, around here, dude. Mitch, unless oh, unless they want to sponsor the podcast. Unless they want to sponsor. Yeah, unless then, they want to give us no, money. But then, otherwise, fuck, fuck yeah. you guys. Fuck dude. you until you get us free fucking monsters. <laughs> <laughs> but but no, like M Mitch has been standing on this hill. He's like, dude. I'm a holiday guy. Holiday all the way. Fuck, fuck Quick Trip. I'm like, okay, like, yeah, but like they have their, they have their yings and their yangs, you know what I mean? And then recently I've been going in there. My buddy sent me this picture. I swear to God, I can't make this up. I was going to pull it up, but I'm going to, it was like by nine Celsius is get like the 10th one free. I'm like, that's <laughs> fucking crazy. That's like such a good deal. <laughs> But like I walk, I walk in there. I, <laughs> Ten at a time. Yeah, I walk, I walk oh, into, I walk fuck. into Quick Trip now, and I'm like, I'm looking, and I'm like, dude, they have no fucking energy drinks here, and they have, they have, they could be fully stocked. Holiday dude, and does they don't have any it. fucking yeah. deals either. No. The deals is what's pissed, dude. They Last got rid weeks. of it. There's no fucking two for ones ever anymore in fucking Quick Trip, and it drives me crazy. Holiday man. was it three for six or three for seven on monsters? And then yeah. that, like that, you always look at like the bottom of the, like the 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 racking, and that's like. Oh my god! I've never had that energy. Drink. And they got those hidden deals. You type in your phone number, and all of a sudden you you just got your third one free. And yeah, you didn't even know that was a thing. Shit, Speedways, silent hitters. I think they're yeah. I think they're creeping up because I go to the Great. Speedway and Becker. They have like all the ghost flavors, like lemon lime. See, people sleep on that one. Speedy rewards, dude. Are you fucking Fuck kidding around, me? dude? When, dude, when <laughs> I used to work for my stepdad Brian, we went to this fucking essay. It was still essay at the time. It wasn't Speedway yet. Oh yeah, right every by my house, single brother. morning, and I had a Speedy Rewards card. I just never like logged in and actually set yeah. it up, but I'd use it every day, dude. I think the one time the lady's like, "Hey, you should probably do you have like do you have this set up on your phone?" I'm like, "No, why?" And she's like, "You have a hundred dollar gift card in there." And I'm like, oh, fuck, cool. running yeah. up two summers straight yeah. every single day. I'm in the same exact gas. I'm like, oh, it probably makes sense that I finally got some money back well, yeah. from this deal. Well, that's why all of, uh, all of Mitch's family got speedy uh, Speedway mugs for Christmas. Yep, yep. 
I'm sponsored. <laughs> there is just me, not the podcast. Credit. They're like looking at it like, oh, thanks. I guess okay. another, co- another cool, another speedy coffee mug. Cool. Four pound gummy bear. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a cheap oh, iPhone fuck. charger. Yeah. Thanks. I really appreciate $5 it. Gas card. Like <laughs> carton oh. of cigarettes. I got my sister a carton of cigarettes for Christmas the last two years. No, you didn't. I swear to God. <laughs> oh my, my mom God. hates you, it. My sister rewards. loves it. My mom hates it. What flavor? Oh, she's a American Spirit Green. Girl. Really? Yeah. What? High class. Yep. Jeez. I, I saw this. Uh, I saw this bread. meme that was like uh, the all men when they turn or all boys when they turn to men get separated into these four houses like Harry Potter, and it was like Marb Reds, <laughs> Newports, American Spirits. And Pretty much, you get Winston's snobby about it. Yeah. yeah, you get snobby about it quick. They pick their one house and they like stick so to it. it. Be at work and ask someone if they got a cigarette and they pull out the wrong pack. And you're like, actually, I'm just kidding. I yeah. actually didn't want one. I have a chew, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, shout out Speedy Rewards. <laughs> God damn, I'm going to have to go check my balance after this. Um, So how do you determine which one of these things are good? Dude, see, this is I wanted to set this up like this. I want to I want Cody to just do his full review, and then I want to make fun of him for how bad he did. Okay. So I want Cody crack, to just crack it open. Crack, crack it, it open. open okay. Give your full review. Okay. Talk about talk about everything. Okay. Uh, talk- fir- first impression. I noticed that the can has a uh, tight density to it, so I'm already off the rip. I'm going to tell that this thing is highly carbonated. This is a, this is that was a new one. Yeah, that's different. That's that was different. different. Oh, not as carbonated as I thought. I think the can's just thicker. Nice pop to the top, though. I don't, I don't know if I like it or hate it. <laughs> <laughs> the detail. A lot to go here. It's got a thick aluminum top to the thing. I like the I like the feeling. This is a heavy duty. This is the um. This is the uh, this is not no black and decker monster can right here. Oh shit! Oh, is that? Would you say that that's the Milwaukee tools of monster cans? Fluff the cake. One sip. Everyone knows mm. the rules. Okay. Okay. One more. Bear in mind, it's zero sugar, but it's still the OG flavor. Zero sugar. Wow. Okay. I want to beat my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the wife beater? Uh. Put it on. <laughs> um. You know, to be honest, this tastes no different than the OG monsters that I remember as a kid. Okay, there you know, it is. 12 years old, this brisk brought me back to the skate park. I just <laughs> smoked my first joint, and uh, I just landed a kick flip down a two-stair. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Let him cook. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's all coming back. You need a one, one through ten? You, one, you yeah, we just need a one through ten. Oh, it's a ten scale. Okay. Ten scale. Oof, this is tough, because I'm trying to think of other things that I can compare this to that I've had recently. <laughs> How many how many other energy drinks? Are you a big energy drink guy? Are you like more coffee? I would say a medium energy drink guy. Okay, so you have a little bit of a background with energy drinks. Yeah, I would say I have one maybe every three to four days. You switch it up too? Yeah, I do. Okay, that, that puts it in a different perspective. Yeah. Okay, so um, you know, after fluffing the cake, I'm going to say I, it's hard to get past the fact that I feel like I'm back in seventh grade slamming one of these things. Yep, nostalgia. It is. And I think the nostalgia factor is clouding my judgment right now, but I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I so like 10. the flavor. Fucking rookie. Damn. God. That's a, that's a high score for just a basic that's, hitter. That's, dude, that was... I was, I was so on page with it until you said that score. Rookie score. I was, I'm, rookie I'm, score. Everything else was okay. great. It's, I think, I'm telling you, I, I think the nostalgia is clouding oh. my judgment right now, but I, you have a, I feel young again. What does that mean? Did you have a bad childhood? Is that is that bringing back bad memories? No, I loved it. I oh. felt like I was a delinquent at the skate park yeah. all over again. Take a sip. It's like, I'm playing Halo 3. It's 3.30 in the morning. Dad's waking up to go to work. He's like, you guys are still up making noise. Gets a little pissed off. You, you know? woke up because the microwave, you let it get to zero seconds, so it started pop. dinging before you took them out of the microwave. 100%. You got pizza the, rolls. You got the pizzazz ripping, and you got pizza rolls on the pizzazz mm. with the boys. Pretty mm. good. You're playing 2K. Pretty decent pop on this. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what good. I said. I looked, over, I looked over. I was like, what the? It was a good quality good can, dude. Yeah, thank you for bringing this on. Mm-hmm. This is this 100%. is really teleporting mm-hmm. me back. My little, this, like, tastes like, uh, this tastes like the fucking Pine County Fair, the Euro stand used to sell monsters. Did they actually? Yeah, and then you'd walk around and it'd be so hot out by the time you were at the end of it. It was disgustingly hot. It yeah. pairs really just well piss, with tzatziki sauce. Just piss, just piss warm. And tzatziki it's, sauce, isn't it? I don't know. I think it's tzatziki. Sure. Who knows? I'm not a scientist, dude. <laughs> I'm not a Greek. I'm not fucking Greek, dude. <laughs> Pure so you're red blood American, brother. Yeah, heard that. Uh, when Well, when you're not on the gear and when you're not drinking energy drinks, what do you do? Hold oh. on, dude. Can we give a fucking review here? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We'll get into I'm that after this. into this shit right now. We don't fucking care about your occupation One yet. sip. Everyone knows the rules. Okay. Fluff the cake. I think it's just a basic... Are You You want to go? I, I, I think it's, it's just... I think scissors? it's... Oh. You're up. You're, you, go, you go. You go. You go. I think it's guess. just. A, I think it's just a basic hitter. There's nothing. There's nothing insane about it. You, you take a sip, brings it back. It's got the nostalgia feature to it. I love that about it. It doesn't taste 
anything different than the original one. This one has zero sugar, so you're not drinking in a hot day and you get like that cotton mouth. Because I don't mm-hmm. know if you guys are the same when it's yep. you yeah. drink sugary drinks when it's hot. It's just you lemon, sticky lemon, mouth. Yeah, lemonade is an exception, but you drink in pop and yeah, you get that that thick. So it's just gross. Mm-hmm. I noticed that you don't turn your tops. I didn't know that, that about you, that you were weird and you don't turn your tops. That's a bit of a red flag. Yeah. Really? It's kind of crazy. That's <laughs> really? the first I'd thing that I do. I'd say it's a, it's a beige flag. I don't know what you're <laughs> That's beige. <laughs> okay, keep going. That's my bad. But, yeah, I, I mean, it's like a 7-3. It's down the middle. Oh, that's... You're in the avenue. You're in the oh avenue. My. I'm going to tell you right now, It does. it is a classic hitter and it's a basic hitter and everyone knows the flavor already, so I don't need to describe it. But what I will say is... I've I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. It doesn't compete with anything new. It's not it's not yeah. even kinda in line with the new shit. I mean these new fancy Tesla fucking energy drinks these days. Like dude, <laughs> the technology they're putting in these things what, is like, fucking crazy. And shit in them. So yeah, but what I'm saying is like it just doesn't do it for me anymore. I'm sorry about that. But it is a good drink. Uh I'm pretty sure when I reviewed OG Red Bull, I went six nine on it. I'm gonna go six eight on this bad boy. So it's not really there. Not bad. Six Respect eight. It. Honestly, to me, this tastes like when you lick a nine volt battery. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, <laughs> like a little a, bit. <laughs> kind of that same like, like chemically, syrup. yeah, like yeah. chemically like penny flavor it's to good. it. When you when you have these at like six in the morning and you have that like chemically vibe, you're like oh oh, it's like the the ghost sour green apple. If you have a cold ghost sour green apple in the morning on the way to work. You got like young Dolph ripping. You're listening to thug music. You're like, oh yeah, you're, just you're vibing out. Three yeah. six mafia. Yeah. Wild yeah. on going, tour. Yep. You take a sip of it and you get that. You get that sour kick, and oh. then and then you get that. Yeah. Game, Radio game goes over. from twenty five percent volume all the way up to like seventy five percent volume. Easily, your speak. You can't yeah. hear it because the speakers are so distorted. You're mm-hmm. like, fuck it. Exactly, heard that. Dude. Heard See, that. Can I explain to you why your score was a rookie score? Yeah. First of all, it's an even number. You can't do that. There's, that's not a thing. I like to leave room. That's not a thing. You can't do an eight. Eight, one, <laughs> seven, that. nine, that's fine. Well, it's just um, but, it's just because my time spent in the Olympics that I'm just so used to the ratings from the Olympics. Also, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Also, <laughs> anything in the eights is something that I'm buying often. That, okay? I'm going out of my way. Anything in the eights, I'm, that's I'm fair. going out of my way to get it. I'm not buying this often. That's the fair. gas station's right here on my way to work. There's one over here that has an eight, three. I'm going over crossing there. the road. You're crossing <laughs> the highway for an eight. Going over the bridge. You know, I'm barely even pulling off for anything. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay, now, that's fair. But hey, ten it, calories. This is not going to throw you off your diet. On plan, Mitch. Mitch, he does reviews. Funniest thing ever. He goes checking out this uh, lemonade here, and he's just like, "We're at, we're at like sixty grams of fucking sugar in this thing off the plan." So Dawson can't review this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take over. I always have to review everything with sugar in it, so Dawson doesn't like he I, can't do it. I love it. He's just like the the, the fucking off plan reviewer, and I, I, it's beautiful. And I always repost it, and people are just like responding, like this dude's hilarious. Dude, I love going. I love wow. reviewing shit that's not an energy drink too. It's so funny. I do cigarette reviews every once in a while. Those are the best. That's great. <laughs> you're in the you're in the truck like this. You're in the work truck. We got a cigarette review, and you're like you're like bouncing all over the place, and it's just like. Yeah, I oh, love that. Great. I love it's that. So fun. That's, that sounds like a good series. It's so fun. I haven't seen any of these you yet. Gotta get, you got to get Dawson Snapchat, dude. It's so fun. It's a good time. <laughs> uh, before before we jump into the like the work aspect, I gotta piss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can rock a piss break. We'll be right back. Test, yeah. test, test. Gear, gear, gear. You want to bring gear. us back in, Dawson? Yeah. So uh, basically, we're gonna go into what else <laughs> I do other than just eat food, work out, and sleep, and it's just work. Yeah. To what pay, other to pay for my food for working out? That's a good point. Is this uh, is this another vice of yours? Do you enjoy working? Are you a working man? I mean, I think any man truly just likes to just have a good, long, hard work day. And there's no better feeling. I was just talking to my buddy about this. You'll get it. No, and uh, we've all been here. No better, no better feeling after it could be an eight, a ten, a fourteen hour day. You peel the work boots off. There is no fucking better feeling Dude, than that. You know, I, I've, I've said this forever, and no one ever gets on pages with me. Yeah. The best feeling is when you get in the shower, and the shower floor turns fucking black because you're just covered <laughs> and you in mud at, and dirt, and yeah. you just know you <laughs> fucking busted ass uh, for 12 hours. It's like, God, it's a good feeling. Hey, so you're like Conway Twitty. You know what I mean? I feel like yeah. I'm fucking No better feeling right for me. Get home after a long, hard day of editing videos. <laughs> <laughs> I get to take off the wool-lined Crocs, set them down. The shower turns... Bright yellow because I just pissed all over the floor of it. <laughs> God, oh, what a it. feeling. I Dude, I just threw out my fleece line crocs. RIP. I had, them, <laughs> I had them fuckers for like like three, four years. It was smooth in the bottom. I needed a new tread. Dude, you Shameless. See how Dawson I'm took his hoodie off and I got nervous and I had to put my fucking flannel on. <laughs> <laughs> just in the car. I was like, oh blue car man. <laughs> so Dawson, what do you do for work? So I work at a coal plant and I'm just a general plant helper. So I help out 
basically just clean the inside of modules. Um, a coal power plant for the people that are listening. You, you guys make power. You don't. You're not a coal miner. Yeah, we're pushing P. Pushing P, baby. I'm above. <laughs> I'm above ground. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, basically just help out on the plant we need it. If there's like a spill, we'll go and clean that spill up. Um, just miscellaneous shit. Sometimes some days I'm in a vector truck. Some days I'm in in a module with a jackhammer. Some days I'm in a module with a sandblaster. Like all over the fucking spectrums, which I I really enjoy because it's like a, a mixed variety of different things. Like I I know the job. The, the different jobs that we can do, but I just like, I go in every day not knowing what I'm going to do. That is the one really nice part about having a job like that is it never gets monotonous because you're never right like there. just yep. fucking working in a factory like over and over and over. Cause my job gets like that sometimes where it mm-hmm. feels like, dude, we're doing the same fucking thing for three yeah. weeks straight. I'm over it. Oh, a hundred, a hundred percent. And that's, that is why. And some days I'm like, fuck, like, I don't, they, like, Dawson, you're going to do this. And I'm like, cool. This is going to be so fucking fun. It's, but then at the end of the day, like you peel the work boots off, you take the shower, because like I, I we get a shower there, and so it's nice because you don't have to bring that shit home because it's a fucking coal plant, like it's coal power plant. It's you're 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 dirty, so I don't want to put that into my car and my house and things like that. So that's nice as well. But yeah, there is no, there's no more rewarding feeling than after you know working and then taking the boots off, showering, all that stuff. So you have that that sense of pride. Is that wild? Like, are you always breathing in? Like, I mean, yeah. There's like we coal? have. We have like this small, like a room, like probably the size of these two rooms together. And there's like 18 of us crammed in this fucking room. And they put like this filtration system in there. And sorry. It's the coal. Me. The coal's making it. Yeah. I, I got our, I got our, just, just iron talking lung. about it. Iron lung. And um, they put like this new like filtration system. And it has basically like a furnace filter inside of it. And yet they have to change it weekly because it gets so dirty in there. And it's like our break room. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, <laughs> but when we when we climb into like modules and stuff, we have like full face respirators, and like we have to replace our pads and things like that. But at the end of the day, you're still gonna breathe it in regardless. Um, you know. But there's some days where it's like, this is fucking easy. I'm getting paid to do this. And then there's some days that you you get fucking dirty, you get down nitty gritty. So it's it's a really good balance, and I enjoy it a lot in that aspect. Um, have you ever like I know you're kind of a like you're a decently strong kind of guy, maybe a little bit. Um, you ever grab a piece of coal and just make a diamond at work? You know, just fucking yeah, just, squeeze that bastard. Take, take that all could be my, like a little side business for you, just take, diamond producing. Take all my roid rage out on that piece yeah. of coal. <laughs> no, Christmases are cheap, though, for sure, if I don't like the person. So. <laughs> Do you, how does it even work? Like, does coal oh, get gosh. shipped off in, like, chunks to you? Like, is it, what is it, How? what's the process? So basically it just comes in on the carts, it goes to one building, and it's a cool, it's so fucking cool. I have a video somewhere on my phone, but the carts come into the building, and it clamps onto the carts, and it fully tips the whole cart dumps the coal in, and it flips it back and it does that with each train car and then it goes through the process of buildings and being crushed and things like that and then and burned and dude i never realized how much fucking coal those plants burn until because there was a while there were pile yeah well I, I was showing up i was showing like we had a little show up yard right outside of the power plant that he works at yep. and i was showing up there for like six months like because it comes in on train right there's a fucking yeah. a rail yep. that runs right into the fucking plant and like Sometimes like two, three trains a day of coal, full ass trains of just coal are coming into are these that like, plant. Are these now when I, when you say trains full of coal, are these like black rocks that are like getting dumped off this it's, thing, or what do they look like? It's kind of just it's a mixture of it, chunks and yeah, it's like, like rubble. That. Looks like just black rubble. People are gonna Where, be like, what? people are gonna be like, this guy doesn't like know anything about his job. What's going on? <laughs> like I take I take pride in my job, but not to the extreme of like making it like my whole well being. Like where does it come from? Where the hell do the they ground? get this coal? <laughs> Just kidding. Are coal they mines. digging it up? Yeah. Yeah, coal mines. Coal somewhere. It comes out of the mine. It comes on a train. So wherever they, they're... Do they crush it up before putting it on the train to like make it fit a certain yeah, shape? I would assume yeah. so. They, yeah. they crush it down a little Well, bit. I'm assuming it doesn't come out in like blocks. Like they don't <laughs> harvest coal like Right, that. but it's I didn't know if it was like, like, if it was like, a, like a gravel pit. Like you could shovel the shit in. You know what I mean? Like are they just using a loader to I'd load these things up? I don't even know. I'm sure it's a loader. I mean, I feel like everything I know is just from cartoons. Your guess is as good as mine in that aspect. Because, I mean, like I've told people, I just kind of, right now, just work to live and not live to work. I t- but but I also, like, am a motherfucker that, like, takes pride in my job, you know? So, like, whatever you do, you just need to take pride in it. And I, I wholeheartedly believe that. But I'm also not one to be like, eat, sleep, coal, brother, you know? Like, that's yeah. just, uh, <laughs> right. I, to me, I have, I have my goals and my ambitions and my things I want to achieve in my life. And they don't obviously entail that. But this is helping fund 
me to pursue what I love. Right. Yeah. You know, you're right. There is some guys that their work is their lifestyle and oh, partially because it kind of has to be because they're working 24 seven. Well, you know, there's, so they sort of justify it that way, you know? Oh, a hundred percent. There's dudes that have been in this fucking coal plant that are damn near ready to retire 20, 30 years. And uh, like, I couldn't fathom being, being there that long because it's a matter of like, it, you don't know what the outside world is. You're like stuck in this fucking plant, not seeing sunlight for like 20, 30 years. I mean, granted, yeah. Yeah, you, get a, you get to go home and things like that. But I, it's just like, I don't know. I feel like, the, uh, the guys, this might sound a little weird. The guys who are really into their jobs that are like that, that like that's their only job. I feel like there's a direct correlation with how hazardous their job is. Because like my job, obviously a little bit more dangerous than yours. Oh, 100%. It's like not not saying it like not to, to be relax. derogatory or anything. It's just like, <laughs> I'm just saying true. like it, it really true. is a very dangerous job. And I feel yeah. like with that, you get such a bond with the guys you work with and such a yeah. bond mm-hmm. with the way that you do your job because you yep. can't die every really? day. Absolutely. You're just on a glorified ropes course all day. What's dangerous Not about really, that? Not really, dude. Not really. A glorified <laughs> spicy rope course. Dude, it's just like... The <laughs> spiciest rope you've ever seen. It's just like... Uh, like I've, I've had buddies in the military. It's just like that aspect. Like, you're going to war with a brother. You, yeah. you, you develop, like, this brotherhood. And, like, the guys I work with are, are great. Like... Um, we have days where everyone's kind of quiet and keeps themselves. And we have days where everyone's just chipper and they just want to chirp each other all day and like just come after everyone's life. And they're like, "Hey, fuck you, buddy! You're fucking," you know. They just like tear like tear each other down. And so it's a, it's a good balance. That's like, another thing of it too is like if you work a lot of hours, you're with the guys that you work with. You have to like them five times as much as you are with your family. Yep. You spend way more time with them, guys. Yeah. Whether you like them or not, you right. have to fucking spend time with them. True. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's behoovial to fucking everyone yep. to be friends. Absolutely. To figure it out. Yeah. Honestly, you gotta. And then you just figure out the one guy that you don't like and just haze him until he leaves. Yeah. And then, and then (laughs) that's funny as fuck because if you find the one guy that you hate, everyone hates him. And then you bond off of not liking that guy. Uh, You can form some of the strongest bonds. With the coworker, off the common hatred for another coworker, hey, and you can call that toxic, but you fucking do the same thing. Yeah, whether fuck it's about you. your co- fuck yeah, you. fuck you. Whether it's about your coworkers or a friend or a family member, you do the yeah. same shit. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So in this in this coal plant, how does it? I mean, the dynamic of the coal plant, it gets there, they burn it. What? Where's the energy? Where does the power come from? Burning it. And they turn like the heat. You want me to take this? I actually know that can, one. Can you please? Like, this yeah. Guy, so they turn like the heat. <laughs> We're actually hiring no, so for the afternoon coal, shift. <laughs> so coal is hot. You burn it, it gets hot. And then they really? boil water. <laughs> that makes steam that spins uh, basically just a big fucking coil of wire. Yeah. Okay. And then there's transformers outside of the plant that step that power up to transmission level. And then that flies to a substation. That substation steps it down to distribution level. And then that line goes to your house, and then it drops to a service that goes into your fucking outlet. Wild. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's I know earlier world. I said I take pride in my my work. I I think that's what that looks like. I went to school, <laughs> I went to school for it. I I had to learn that. So it's not like you. Yeah. I was. But Damn. That's, yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's okay. It's a process. That um yeah I've always I guess wondered how it works. Is that like. Is there a lot of pollution when it comes to that? So I feel like that's what you always see those videos of those picketers outside. So. They want to shut it down and turn it over and convert it to solar power. And a lot of people think the smoke that comes out of the stacks is smoke. It's fucking steam. And the GPH is like, we clean these modules that fil- that filter this, essentially. Mm. And it's it comes out, I think it was like 99.8% clean. Um, and now that they're switching over to solar, the, the amount of power that is going to be produced with this this big solar change is only going to power one substation where the power the amount of power we're doing now is tenfold to that damn so this is the a, fucking a, problem dude all right yeah it's a fucking coal, joke coal plants they make two things power and fucking clouds and that's it pushing fucking that's pee, all they baby. make is pushing power pee. and clouds it's not dirty it's all these it's dumb not black ass, uh, smoke rolling out of that motherfucker like it was in the 20s yeah it's all these dumbass tesla owners out there <laughs> <laughs> that are I just, just i just backed into one on the way <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't own one, but if I did, I would probably need to check my insurance claims right now. <laughs> I just drove through it, so I don't know whose it was. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I feel like there's going to be a big shift in that industry. I feel like yeah. there's definitely something on the horizon, whether it's uh, justified or not, you mm-hmm. know? I think there's going to be a pretty big learning curve that a lot of people are not going to like to learn the lesson it's going to teach. Well, and guess what? If you look at the big grand scheme of things of, of the world, that's... Every single time people need to learn their fucking lesson, it's when they step on their di- their own dick. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, they make the mistake, and it's too late to to say, "Oh, I fucked up in this." Yeah, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. You it's know? just it's 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 a revolving thing, and it, it's it's sad because when you look at these big things that 
these bigger things than just something small in your life that you don't learn until it's too late, it has a detrimental effect to everyone in the world and not just solely your life and your routine. Yeah, I, like my good buddy Sam would say, not to get political, but here we fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be a problem that yeah. no one's going to like to learn. No uh-huh. one's going to enjoy it. It's not going to be good for yeah. anyone, and I think I think it's going to do a big flip flop, and Storm's shit's going to get a little weird yeah. for a while. Storm's yeah. coming. Yeah, we'll see. It's you coming. Know, I don't Maybe know. I'm fucking wrong. I'm just a dumb fucking lineman. What do I know? But <laughs> it's I don't think that it's going to be as good as they think it's going to be. Maybe we'll all get another round of checks out of the deal. <laughs> God, I hope so. Uh, Sorry for fucking up I, your yeah. life. Here's two hundred yeah. bucks. Yeah. A, new, a new variant. It's a Canadian variant of COVID that comes through. Some shit. Uh, All right, boys. Well, what do you think? We wrap this thing up, Dawson. Where can people find you on social media? Uh, grub and gains. Uh, just grub and then N and then gains. Um, I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. Uh, I've kind of taken a, a little bit of a break from posting for a while. Um, but yeah, that's 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 where I'm at. You got anyone you want to shout out? You want to say hi to your mom? Uh, shut up, mom. Biggest supporter. Um, <laughs> she's a fucking queen. Love that woman to death. She's made me into the person I am today. Uh, shout out my girlfriend. She's constantly pushing me to be a better man as well. Shout out my coach, Nick Justice, by the way. If anyone needs a coach, go to Nick Justice. He's incredible. He's out of Wisconsin. So he's in, the, we'll say, the local area, kind of, in a way. In a sense, <laughs> local to the states. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's... All of our listeners in Texas right now are like, what the like, fuck is Dude, this? I don't give a shit. Yeah. End this thing, <laughs> right? Fuck this, fuck this guy. Is this almost over? Well, <laughs> Dawson, thank you for coming on, man. We appreciate it. No, thank you. Thank you guys so much, too. And like I was telling you, I, a podcast is something that I've, I've really kind of wanted to start up for a while, but you, you don't you don't know until you try. Like, Hell I, yeah. You know, I could have came on here and be like, oh, I don't like this. This sucks. This is, this is <laughs> yeah. weird. I don't want to do this anymore. Same with bodybuilding. I've actually never yeah. competed. So it's like I don't even know if I like the the, the portion of stepping on stage yet, but I mm-hmm. like the what goes into bodybuilding. Yeah, I'm sorry that you, we had to have Mitch here today, but yeah, it, it just had to be that way. Yeah, he fuck, the nuts. starts flexing on me as soon as I get in. I'm like, <laughs> I'm over here, like okay. <laughs> All right, boys, we'll see you next week. Yep.